Welcome to the Book Report. I'm Kenny of Nerfic Strangers and, and Blur Dog Radio, and today I'm talking about Daredevil issue 20. Uh, before we get into that, let's just talk a little bit about Daredevil, uh, a Marvel mainstay at the forefront of comics in terms of uh, superheroes who are street level. He's second only to Spider Man. And to be honest, I'm still not over the fact that we aren't getting another season of Daredevil and Netflix because um, it's still the best. Uh, Marvel show uh, Netflix has ever done and probably the best Marvel show period that really just tries to really uh, hone in on that Marvel Knights type of feel that's like dark and gritty but also really fun and full of action so um, hey Marvel bring back Daredevil to television on to the report Daredevil 20 basically brings us to uh, the finale of a 20 issue run that has seen uh, Matt Murdock um, crippled, lost, um, a murderer, yeah, uh, Daredevil killed a guy in the first issue, like, and that's not even a spoiler, that's basically what was solicited to every comic book store to tell customers that, by the way, Daredevil, um, Kill the guy, like that was what they wanted people to know um, <coughs> that Mick Murdock um, did. And um, you learn that, yeah, that happened, and he's going through denial about it. He thinks he's being played, he's looking for any setup. Um, we get some guest appearances from a couple of heroes um, you would obviously expect from a Daredevil story in terms of your Punishers and Electras, but also you get some. Uh, classic uh, characters that make some uh, uh, mysterious. Honestly, there are a couple of returns between issue 19 and 20 that I didn't see coming um, so soon in this run that I'm really excited for. And I'm hoping that um, basically by the end of issue 20, there are a lot more questions than answers. Uh, we see Mayor, yes, Mayor Wilson Fisk, uh, no longer the Kingpin, uh, the Kingpin has gone straight, everybody. Uh, he's trying to get into that legal weed selling. He's standing up for his citizens as a politician. He literally goes out into the streets and helps uh, a mass Matt Murdock, still not Daredevil, by the way, that's still not a thing, uh, take down um, a villainous, villainous team of the Rhino Crossbones. Uh, Spoiler alert, so I won't mention who one of the characters is because it's kind of a big deal. And then Stiltman, who is absolutely not a big deal, but for some odd reason, he's here. Um, in this big battle in the middle of Hell's Kitchen that basically sees this uh, elite group of twins who basically are, they're basically the Kingpin times two. Um, they own television stations, they own, they're basically just capitalism personified in terms of like greed and corporate just bad and we're still not sure as to why they want to take full control of Hell's Kitchen from the mob, Owsley, and there's one more like group looking to take power at Hell's Kitchen because of the fact that Fisk is no longer you know, Kingpin, that all of a sudden Hell's Kitchen has become ground zero for this big war here at issue 20. Um, so by the end of the issue, the dust settles, nobody's dead, but by the end of it all, there's a reckoning coming for the mayor, Matt Murdock, and um, our newest character, he's Detective Cold North, and he's basically uh, put in charge of this superhero task force that's actually out not to help superheroes, but to capture them because, of course, Mayor Fisk, in his infant wisdom, finds the best way to capture mass vigilantes is by creating a task force within the New York Police Department um, that's pretty corrupt. And so we really see Chip Zdarsky really kind of get into the weeds in terms of police brutality, what it means to be a good cop, what it looks like to be a bad cop. Um, 
<laughs> the fact that marijuana legalization ends up in this comic book is still like pretty surprising and I'm glad that Marvel is allowing our Marvel editors that are allowing their writers to kind of really kind of continue with what Stanley kind of talked about was Marvel kind of being part of reality and seeing the world like kind of mirroring itself with that, that mirror aspect so it's interesting to see how uh, the heroes and the villains are basically having to deal with drug legalization and the fact that you know, cops and heroes maybe aren't the best thing for a world that's constantly changing. Um, so, once again, my my book of the week, Daredevil, give it a look. Um, we have the first couple of trades of First Day Comics. And once again, I'm Kenny, Kenny of Blood Radio and Nerfic Strangers. And thanks. Have a good one.